You ever wonder how other marketplaces are doing in the gig economy that you're working in? You know, I'm in Missouri, St. Lu St. Louis, Missouri specifically. You ever wonder what's going on in Chicago, Alaska, Massachusetts? How are the drivers earning out there? Well, I have a report from Solo that I'm going to share with you guys today. And I think some of it might be surprising to you. Welcome back to Mr. Bet on You. So before I get into the mark, this uh, October 2024 Gig Economy Insights Rideshare and Food Delivery Earning Trends, okay? The company Solo works with gig workers. Attach your gig economy apps, track your earnings, your mileage, get tax information, insights to your marketplace, what good days are to work, what time of the day. There's leaderboard tracking. You could track your other sources of income and keep them all in one easy place. Click the link in the description box and the pinned comment to sign up for solo today. Let's get into the October 2024 insights. Now I'm gonna put some split screens as I read some of this here. Explore gig economy earnings insights for rideshare and food delivery in October 2024 with this month's marketplace report. Shout out to Sydney Brown. Sydney, I hope you see this. Okay. In the evolving landscape of the gig economy, October 24 brought notable shifts and in insights into the rideshare and food delivery earnings across the United States. For gig workers relying on platforms like Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub, understanding how earnings vary month over month across states and even by the day of the week can be a key to maximizing your income. I definitely believe that. Knowing your marketplace is a factor in that. In this blog post, we'll dive into the trends and fluctuations in gig work earnings, highlighting which regions and days are the highest payouts. We'll get into that as well. With data on rideshare and food delivery trends, this analysis provides valuable guidance for gig workers aiming to optim optimize their earnings in a competitive gig economy. So Solo does this in, in hopes that they can bridge the gap between uh, the gig, uh, the gig between gig drivers and the information they need to make informed decisions about their gig work business. Solo tracks and gets all this information from drivers like you and I, so that they can help drivers have the most information because knowledge is power, right? Um, check out the numbers for October's and Solo's six-month market pulse to see how gig economy earnings for rideshare and food delivery have changed over month to month. So let's get into this here. Rideshare trends in e and earnings in the gig economy, October 2024. Rideshare platforms like Uber and Lyft have significantly altered urban transportation, providing convenient alternatives to additional taxis. However, earnings in the rideshare sector of the gig economy have fluctuated significantly based on various factors such as location, time of day, and demand. If you do rideshare, you know that. Seasonal trends play a significant role with peak hours during rush periods and weekends, often, often yielding higher earnings due to increased demand. For gig workers focusing on rideshare, understanding these trends can be essential for maximizing income, obviously. Now, they give a couple examples of some states and what the earnings, average earnings are. Washington, 30.63 an hour. Vermont, 24.25. Alaska, 24.17. Were the states with the highest earning per hour for rideshare drivers. Interesting. Would you have thought those states were the highest? Washington, Vermont, and Alaska. Are those numbers on par with what you think the average rideshare driver makes. In October, several states exhibited relatively stable month over month uh, changes of less than 1% in rideshare earnings, suggesting a steadier demand and minimal fluctuation compared to September. 1% difference, not too much, right? Um, we also took a look at how rideshare earnings are changing month to month in each state. Overall earnings month over month remained stable in most states, but a few states saw significant changes. Such insights are crucial for those engaged in the gig economy who depend on rideshare as a primary source of income. I like the solo does this because numbers don't lie. Okay, numbers don't lie. We, our feelings might lie to us. Our mind might lie to us. What we see with our eyes might lie with us. Numbers do not lie. Numbers are hardcore, right? Um, month over month increases in rideshare earnings. So Vermont saw the largest increase plus 11%. West Virginia and Louisiana also had strong gains of 10% plus. California saw a slight increase of 0.79%, not even a percentage, while Indiana's right to earnings remain almost unchanged with a modest raise of 0 0.06. So that's virtually nothing. Month over month decreases in right to earnings. So these are places where month over month drivers are earning less. Rhode Island dropped 13%. Wow. Nebraska also faced a significant decline at negative 12.88. Montana and New Hampshire both saw decreases of over 8% as well. Other states with minor changes included New York, uh, minus 0 0.13, and Oregon, minus 0 0.22. Take a look at the graph below to see the top states based on earnings per hour in the month of October. I'll try to put that here. Uh, October 2024 rideshare earnings insights. For earnings per hour on both Uber and Lyft rideshare platforms across the United States in October, drivers experienced fluctuating earnings per hour based on a specific day of the week. So now we're talking about days of the week. 
Sundays proved to be the most lucrative day of the week for both rideshare drivers and food delivery drivers, with the average hourly earning for rideshare drivers at twenty-one twenty-nine and the average hourly earning for food delivery drivers at fifteen sixty-two. Fifteen sixty-two seems low, but this is the average now. Okay. Tuesday saw the lowest earnings. Now that's not surprising because many of you in the comments and what I've experienced sometimes, Tuesday tends to be the day where we all say it's the slowest, especially in food delivery. So the lowest earnings per hour for both rideshare drivers and food delivery drivers with the average hourly earnings for rideshare drivers at $18.93 and the average hourly earnings for food delivery drivers at $14.05. Food delivery trends and earnings in the gig economy in 2024. Food delivery services such as DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub have experienced a surge in popularity, especially during the COVID pandemic, as more people opt for convenience of having meals delivered to their doorstep. And obviously with the Walmart Sparks and the Instacarts of the world, that is opened up with the, with the groceries as well, right? A um, couple things here. Alaska, Rhode Island, and Montana were the states with the highest earnings per hour in food delivery. Mississippi had the lowest earnings per hour at 1138. If you're making 1138 in Mississippi, that's different if you're making 1138 in New York. But even then, if you're making 1138 in Mississippi, whoo, that's tough. That's 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 low, right? But I'm not surprised. It's Mississippi, right? Together with the rideshare earnings insight, these findings indicate that in certain states, both rideshare and food delivery markets maintain stable earnings with less than 1% change from previous month. And that's on an average when you look at them. Certain states like New York, California, and Minnesota, and those states all have some time of legislation, right? Displayed minimal fluctuation in food delivery earnings, which could reflect consistent demand for delivery services or balance com competition among drivers. That balanced competition might be some of the legislation where they kind of make everybody make the same. If you know, you know. Below is a comprehensive earnings trend of the map, uh, uh, trend map of the United States. These map, these maps highlight the earnings per hour in each U.S. state, allowing gig workers to be informed about the changes in earnings over time in their area. And I'm going to link this whole thing that I'm talking about is linked in the description box. So go check it out for yourself. Month over month increases in food delivery. Alaska saw the most significant, up twenty over twenty percent. Rhode Island up three percent. Florida. Uh, saw a small increase of 1.5. Idaho earnings rose by 0 0.8. Minnesota plus 0.37. Missouri, whoop, that's me, plus 0 0.40. Showed slight growth, while New York uh, saw only a 0 0.13 increase. Month over month decreases in food delivery. Mississippi, once again, down 7%. Montana, New York, North, uh, North Dakota, 3 and 4%. California experienced a slight change of 0 0.97, so not even a percent, but negative. These decreases was... Uh, comparatively small, less than 1% change month over month, indicating consistent food delivery earnings for California drivers. And I know if you're in a place where you're making less money, obviously there's other options. If you're consistently making less money, you need to try different apps that might be banging in your marketplace versus just continuing to see your earnings go down. You never, you never want to do that, right? October 2024, food delivery earnings insights. Just like rideshare food delivery earnings in the gig economy uh, vary based on factors such as day, locations, based on Aggregate data from top food delivery platforms during the month of October, the average earnings per hour peaked during the 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. hours, dinner, and 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. hours. The 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. hours saw a 14.8 lift. Mm, interesting. The 2 and 3 p.m. hours saw a 13% lift. I would have thought 2 to 3, but I think with these apps now having the grocery delivery, people ordering things and having it there when they get home from work, those times actually kind of make sense. And people start thinking about dinner maybe 4 or 5 they're going to get off. They're thinking about it. They're placing orders. The demand goes up. Clearly, in a lot of places, six, seven o'clock is going to already be really steady. But these were the times where they did they saw an increase. So we also analyzed the average tip amounts per hour. This is interesting for food delivery across Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. We saw an average tip amount of four seventeen per order. So that means obviously people tip zero, they tip a dollar, they tip ten, but the average. 417 per order. I'm not surprised by that. If you think about a lot of these apps, what do we see? Dollar, two dollar base pay. A lot of the orders that we see are five, six bucks on average. Not surprised, right? You're going to have some bangers here overall, but then you also have a lot of stuff that's really bad. So not surprised by that. Uh, regional earnings differences. Keep in mind that regional variations and other factors can contribute to overall earnings and tip amounts as well. Understanding these variations is essential for gig economy workers to optimize their income. For example, in the city of Chicago, where I was born, Gig work earnings were roughly 18.22 per hour on average, ride share and food delivery combined. However, suburban areas outside of Chicago, such as Cicero, Naperville, and Evanston, saw an average earnings per hour of 14.80. I mean, that's a that's a, a almost a four dollar difference. 
significant, right? Suburbs versus city. In New York, gig worker earnings were roughly 18.48 per hour on average. Uh, Rideshare and food delivery combined, however, suburban areas were 1696. Uh, final thoughts, October gig economy market, uh, market pulse. As the gig economy continues to grow, staying informed on trends and earnings in both rideshare and food delivery is essential for gig workers looking to boost their income. October showed that certain states and times of day can significantly impact potential earnings with notable increases in states like Vermont for rideshare and Alaska for food delivery. Understanding these regional and temp temporal variations enables gig workers to make strategic decisions about when and where to drive in an increasingly dynamic industry. So no, thank you for these, you know, numbers don't lie. They don't, they do not lie. I want to hear what you guys think about this. What about those numbers I threw out? Check the solo app for yourself. Tell them I sent you. You can use my code if you want to sign up for it to track all your information, track all your mileage, track all your tax information, your earnings, your W-2 earnings. You can plug into there. All that cool stuff. OK. And also check out the, what I just read, the market, the, the issue, the the um, the market pulse from Solo. Sorry, I, mean, I usually don't read things, but I wanted to give the, I want to give this out to you guys just for an informative piece. Right. Um, check it out because that full. Uh, that full article from Sydney is in the description box. So click on it and feel free. I didn't read every single word, but check out all of it. I read, I read most of it, the nuts and bolts of it. And I believe they actually do that monthly. Um, and then obviously you can look back at other data and things that they're collecting and things that they're informing you guys. Knowledge is power in the gig economy. I've had a relationship with Solo now for, I think almost, th almost three years. Uh, I know the CEO of the company and many other people that work at solo good people check out the app if you haven't yet check out the article down below i'll see you guys in the next video